on this auspicious occasion of Deepavali is Atma Jyoti. The first verse is by Shankara, is a prakaranam called Ekashloki. As the name suggests, it is a prakarana text with only one verse, and that is the verse before you. Yes. Let us start now without losing any time. You may say with me, Kinjyotistava Bhanumanahani. Me Ratrao Pradipadikam Syadevam Ravidipadarshana Vidhau Kinjyoti Rakhyahime Chikshustasya Nimilanadi Samaye Kim Dhir Dhyodarshane Kim Tatrahamato Bhavan Paramakam Jyotistadasmi Prabho You see, I will ask you a question, but before uh, eliciting answer from you, I'll give one or two illustrations. What is the essence of the human being? That is the question. I will ask it, just wait. Let me give one or two examples. Let us say, what is, if, suppose if someone asks, what is the essence of a horse? The answer is running. What is the essence of a bull? The answer is Carrying the loads. Now you tell me, what is the essence of a human being? I give two choices. Don't be in a hurry to answer. <laughs> I give two choices. A. Doing. B. Knowing. Now you please answer. Knowing. Oh, knowing. <laughs> Good, they are all Vedanta students now. <laughs> so, the essence of the human being is not doing is knowing. In the, because in the human being, there are two elements. You must have heard Atma and Atma. They are not somewhere out there. They are in you. Atma is the knowing element in you. Knowing element. And Anatma is the body-mind which is the doing apparatus. Psycho-physical apparatus. The doing apparatus under the knowing element, within that operators. So therefore, in this they are by name, they are, they are obviously named as Atma and Anatma. So, in that the knowing element, Atma, is you. The doing element is not you. It is other than you. Anatma means what? Not you. Atma is you. Atma means you. And therefore, the knowing element is you. You have to know that. People do not know the difference between the doing and knowing. They get confused that doing and knowing are same. Suppose you ask someone, what are you? He says, I am an engineer. Therefore, I am is the Atma. Engineer is the job he does. And did he not confuse her? Did he confuse her? Not? He has confused. He has confused himself as the doer. That is the confusion. This is how we live. We all believe that we are the doers. We are not the doers. There is doing. You are not the doer. Then what are you? You are the knowing element. This is the message in one verse by Shankara. Now let us look at the message. So he is asking, it is all question-answer kind of a verse in which the Acharya, Acharya the blessed Shankara engages us and he is asking us. So, the idea is uh, you should not get uh, fixated on something. You should always ask the questions. In science, you ask questions. In philosophy, you ask questions. In religion, you don't ask questions because you believe. 
that is the difference between the two now let us start to ask a question are you okay with questions let us start asking questions he is asking shankara is asking kinjyotistava bhanumana hani that is the question the question and answer are put in the form of a verse look at that scheme he is asking tava to you ahani during the day time kim jyoti he what is the light you need light right you see the whole world and you make conclusions about the world you talk about the world you inter you you interact with the world and you do a lot of mischief also in the world please don't mind okay this is deepavali time wish you all happy deepavali i forgot that now i remember so we do so much mischief in the world also even to do mischief you need light all children are playing and a lot of mischief they are doing suppose electricity is gone now everything comes to a sudden halt therefore even to do mischief what to speak of to act to purposefully engage in the world to interact in the world to do many chores in the world you need light right you need light but uh, you, you tell me uh, we have this tendency to neglect or to ignore the light we are so busy with the physical things that we ignore the light suppose i ask you what is here hand now what is there nothing you say but there is light without light you could not have seen the hand so when i take away the hand it is not nothing there is light now you answer the question let the question put what is the light for you during the day time that is the question and he answers bhanuman ahane during the kin jyotis tava that is the question that is the question okay what is the light to you in your life he answers bhanuman ahane me ratrau pradipadikam that is the answer to the question you got the point so what is the light to you during the day time the sun is the light ahani bhanuman okay but what about me to me but what about night ratrau pradipadikam when it is night sun is not around it's not that sun has vanished don't think that sun has vanished sun doesn't vanish okay the earth you, some of you may not know that's why i'm saying <laughs> the earth is not flat okay it is round and uh, one half of it is uh, facing the sun and receiving the sunlight the other half is in darkness so it turns around itself therefore the ha- half the hemisphere which was in the light now it comes into the darkness that is the night that is how it happens nothing happens to the sun sun remains ever the same we turn our back to the sun as of now uh, now it is that so what is the light you have now to know things so all these lights are there pradeepadikam and today is deepavali look at that how many lights are put any deepa how many lamps are lighted there the lamp is the source of light so so many lamps under the an array of lamps that is deepa avali hi an array of lamps that helps us to see things to continue to interact with the world and sometimes to continue the mischief also okay that is the night part okay then uh, the one who is asking the question namely the acharya he is saying syadevam ya ya you have understood you have answered correctly indeed that is so syadevam but now one more question is coming akhya hi me he says at the end akhya hi me you tell me this this you tell me what is that ravi deepa darshana vidhau kinjyoti hi during the day time you look at the sun so now the sun is seen and what is the light in which you see the sun 
Did you get the question? You see everything in the sunlight. But what is the light that sees the sunlight? And then during the night you see things in the light of all these lamps and those lamps too. But then uh, what is the light that sees this, these lamps, Deepa? So the light that sees the sun, Ravi, the light that sees the lamps, Deepa, what is that light? Now you tell me, Akhya Hime, this you tell me, this is called quantum shift. With this, your outgoing attitude, your attitude of looking out is over. Now you have to look within. You are obliged to look within. People are trained to look without all the time. But a stage should come, you stop looking without and start looking within. Should you do it or not? This is Vedanta. Vedanta is, uh, what is you say Vedanta, Vedanta. But uh, what is the synonym for Vedanta? Adhyatma Vidya. I talk like a headmaster, please don't mind, okay? So, Adhyatma Vidya, that is Vedanta. It is not uh, Jagad Vidya. It is not Deva Vidya. Vedanta is not Deva Vidya. Not Jagad Vidya. It is Adhyatma Vidya. What is in you? That is the Vidya it is. Therefore, now the quantum shift happens. So, instead of looking out and trying to find the source of light, whether it is the sun or the lamps or whatever, moon also the source of light during the night. So, instead of looking for the source of light outside, now, what is the light that helps you to see all these sources of light? That is the light within. There is the light in you. And you can immediately answer the question very simply. The answer is Chakshuhu. That is the answer. Second line. We have come to the second line. Chakshuhu is the answer. The eyesight. There is a light in the eyes, right? You know that? There is a light in the eyes. Because there is a light in the eyes, you are able to see the light of the sun and the light of all these lamps. Suppose that a light in the eyes is not there then the uh, sun will be shining very brilliantly, lamps uh, will be shining, thousand candle bulb also you put there, you will not be able to see. There is a light in the eyes, chakshuhu. Chakshuhu, the word itself is derived from a dhatu chakshing, which means uh, to see. Chakshuhu. Therefore, uh, now you have shifted from outgoing attitude, oh, that light, this light, from that attitude, you have shifted within. The quantum shift happened. This is the 180 degrees shift. This you have to do with Ishvara. You have to do with Ishvara. This shift, that is the purpose. Chakshuhu. So the eyesight is the light with which I see these sources of light, namely, the sun during the day and the moon, lamps, etc. during the night. This is the light. Okay? Then one more question. You, are, you have to go deeper now. You have to go deeper. Okay? This is not some storytelling. You have to go deeper. I told you I will teach like a headmaster, right? So, tasya nimilanadi samaye kim. That is the next question. Suppose you close the eyes. Now is there a light in you or not? Now light is not physical light anymore. This is the light of knowingness. That is the light. Light is not physical light. Outside it is physical light. Once you go within, it is not physical light. Now don't start, oh there is a blue light in my heart, a red light in my neck. Don't start all that. That is all uh, unnecessary. That is not the right thing. Some light uh, flashing here, etc. That is all uh, the trick played by your mind upon you. So don't repeat the trick upon others. Okay? Therefore, the light within is not a physical light. It is the metaphorical light. And that light is the knowingness. Let us say, 
the knowingness, that is the light. This is how I started the very first question. What is your essence? Doing or knowing? So, you answered your essence is the knowing, that light, the knowing element, or simply knowingness, that is the light. That light is there. Now, when you close the eyes, you are able to know that you have closed the eyes or not? You know. When the eyes are open, you know that the eyes are open and seeing things. But that is a bit difficult. Oh, I am seeing, not only I am seeing, but also I know that I am seeing. That is a bit difficult. But that, uh, that Viveka is also there. But then uh, when you close the eyes, now I am not seeing, but I know that I am not seeing. Therefore, there is that inner light. Light inner to the eyes. What is that? The answer is dhihi, the mind. Mind is that light. Okay? Now you tell me, when the mind is, suppose mind has many states, ever changing it is. When the mind is, uh, uh, suppose, uh, uh, unhappy, do you know it or not? You know. Suppose uh, mind has many moods, moods, you know. Do you know those moods of the mind or not? You know. Mind is happy. You are partying. Mind is happy. You know that the mind is happy or not? You know. That's why you are partying. Suppose the mind is not happy, you do not throw a party. You throw a party only when the mind is happy. But first you should know that the mind is happy. You know it. You, what are you talking? We know that the mind is happy. How do you know? How do you know that the mind is happy? So, the mind has multiple states, happy, unhappy, neutral, means neither happy nor unhappy, just quiet, quiet, restless, agitated, morose, angry, jealous, compassionate, loving. So many states of mind are there and they are ever changing like Pennsylvania weather. The, mood, the, the mind moods are ever changing. And uh, you should ask this question. You don't ask this question. You ask all kinds of questions. You don't ask this question. What is that light by which I am able to see the ever changing mind? That question you should ask. That is Vedanta. Till then it is not Vedanta. So, till then it is psychology or whatever. Outside is uh, physics or chemistry. Inside up to mind it is psychology. Now begins the real Vedanta. So he is asking, Dhyo Darshane Kim. You are able to see the ever changeful mind. Dhyaha Darshane. You are able to see your ever changeful mind. And uh, in uh, see same as no, you are able to know your ever changeful mind. You get hold of that point. You see, you have to come to that point. Just as the fish live in the ocean of water, just as the birds live in the ocean of air, just so you live in the ocean of that light inside you. Light Atma is you. And uh, that illuminates the mind. That is what com comes to know the mind. In the light of that Atma, the mind is becoming evident. Mind is unhappy. The Atma, that is you, know it. Mind is happy, you know it. So, you always know the mind. Whatever is happening in the mind, you always know it. That means there is a light inner to the mind. That inner light which illuminates the mind. And through mind illuminates the eyes. And through eyes illuminates the whole world. Including the sun, moon and all these lights. The worldly person 
is busy with all these lights. He is uh, attracted by all these lights. The religious person is attracted by those lights above. The sun is the light and the moon is the light, etc. Stars are not light, that is what people believe. Stars are more brilliant than the sun itself. So, that is the religious person always looking up towards the moon, sun and making calculations, etc. And the worldly person always looking around, what kind of light we should put here? This light will be beautiful, that light will be beautiful. Interior decoration, it is not interior, it is exterior decoration. You should name it exterior. It is not interior. You are the interior. So, but uh, nobody is interested in that inner light. I am not saying about you, people in the world. You are all uh, students of Vedanta. So, you have to ask that question. What is that light which illuminates? So, Dhyo Darshane Kim, you have to ask that question. You hold on to this question. What is it that uh, illuminates the mind? What is it that knows the mind? What is it that knows the mind? You live with that question, you will realize the Self. Because that inner light which illuminates the mind is always present. It is present during the entire waking state, illuminating the mind. It's absolutely necessary to associate yourself with that inner light. You cannot constantly ignore it. That is not the way it works. You have to associate yourself with that inner light. That is the Atma. You have to associate your with your true knowing element within you. You cannot associate with yourself with the body-mind and then with the world connected with the body-mind. That is not the way to proceed. You have to associate yourself with that inner light. So, and uh, whether you appreciate it today, on the Deepavali day, what you have to associate yourself with that inner light, which is ever-present, which is illuminating all the ever-changing states of mind, which is illuminating the ears, uh, the eyes, the ears, etc., the sense organs. And then we will do it after so many births, don't say like that. That is not the point. The point is, you have to associate yourself with that inner light now and here. The Deepavali time is the right time. And uh, that is the reality. Whether you associate yourself correctly with that inner light, that is the reality. And uh, it must be realized sooner or later by all. Don't create reasons uh, for not associating with that inner light. Don't create systems, reasons, structures, etc. so that you can postpone or avoid associating with that inner light. Don't do such a silly thing. Do it now. You associate yourself with that inner light. So, Dhyo uh, Darshane Kim, what is it that sees the movements of the mind? That is the question. Then the answer he says, Tatraham, that is myself. That inner light is myself.